This video is on a phenomenon called superposition. Now you'll notice if you're standing there holding a rope and you flick it, you're going to get a wave that moves along that rope towards the end. But what happens if you had a friend who's standing on the other side who flicks the rope and has a wave going in the opposite direction? They're going to cross over and when they cross over, that overlapping is called superposition because their positions are over the top of each other. They're superimposed. So by definition, superposition is when two or more waves overlap and the result is the sum of the individual waves. That means it's the individual waves added together. So let's look at a more specific example. Now we can have two waves which look very similar, who are both say up waves in this case, moving towards each other. Now as they get closer and closer, eventually they're going to overlap. And you'll notice, instead of having two smaller ones at the same point, there's one bigger one. So we've actually just added the two waves together to make one big up wave from the two smaller up waves. Now once that's happened, the two individual waves will carry on moving past each other in their continued direction. Because those two waves move together and when they overlap, they make a bigger construction, it's called constructive interference. They're interfering with each other to make a constructive, bigger wave. On the flip side, if we had two waves, say an up wave moving towards the left and a down wave moving towards the right, we'll see what happens when they overlap. So they get closer together, and when they overlap, they actually cancel each other right out. So the up cancels out with the down, and there's nothing there for that moment in time when they're overlapping. And as they've passed, they'll carry on moving like they always would have. But for this point in time when they've completely cancelled out, that's called destructive interference because an up wave and a down wave, or just any two opposite waves, will cancel each other out. And destructive interference is the opposite then of what we just looked at previously, constructive interference. So let's look at what you need to know from this video. You need to know that superposition is when you have two or more waves, they overlap, and then the result is the sum or the added together version of the individual waves. The second thing you need to know is that phase refers to the position of the wave. You could have an up wave or you could have a down wave. If they're in phase, it means they're the same type of wave. They're either both up, that means they're in phase. If they're both down, that means they're in phase. But if they're opposite, one up and one is down, that means they are not in phase, they are out of phase. Looking at this top two, these two waves are in phase. They're going to move towards each other and constructively interfere because constructive interference is where waves overlap in phase and they produce a bigger wave before moving off again. Now on the other hand, destructive interference are where two opposite waves that are out of phase overlap and they completely cancel out as long as they're exactly opposite to each other. That is destructive interference. So the two most key terms that you need to know are constructive interference, when two waves build together and make a bigger wave, and destructive interference, where two waves that are opposite from each other cancel each other out. So let's look at an example now. So here, we need to draw the resultant waveform when these two waves here superimpose. So superimpose means the point when they go past each other exactly. So now we've got one up wave, which is four squares, one down wave, which is four squares, so they're actually exactly opposite, they're exactly out of phase. That means they're going to be perfectly flat. The four squares going up in this up wave is exactly opposite to the four squares going down, so they will be destructively interfering. Therefore, you could write an answer that the two waves destructively interfere and cancel each other out as they cross over each other. And that is superposition.